Now, if this was a movie, we could write the ending of this script and we could figure a way out of this mess. But real life doesn't work like that. And we can't pretend that we know how this is going to end. The only thing that we can do is control what we do next, how we live our lives, what we consume, how we get involved, and how we use our vote to tell our leaders that we know the truth about climate change. The last speaker for this signing ceremony is the Academy Award Best Actor and the United Nations Messenger of Peace, Mr. Leonardo DiCaprio. Thank you, Mr. Secretary General, for the honor to address this body. And thanks to the distinguished climate leaders assembled here today who are ready to take action. As a UN Messenger of Peace, I have traveled all over the world for the last two years. I have seen cities like Beijing choked by industrial pollution, ancient boreal forests in Canada that have been clear cut, and rainforests in Indonesia that have been incinerated. In India, I met farmers whose crops have been literally washed away. In America, I have witnessed sea level rise flooding the streets of Miami. In Greenland and in the Arctic, I was astonished to see that ancient glaciers are rapidly disappearing well ahead of scientific predictions. All that I have seen and learned on my journey has absolutely terrified me. Now think about the shame that each of us will carry when our children and grandchildren look back and realize that we had the means of stopping this devastation, but simply lacked the political will to do so. Yes, we have achieved the Paris Agreement. More countries have come together here to sign this agreement today than for any other cause in the history of humankind, and that is reason for hope. But unfortunately, the evidence shows us that it will not be enough. A massive change is required right now, one that leads to a new collective consciousness, a new collective evolution of the human race, inspired and enabled by a sense of urgency from all of you. We can congratulate each other today, but it will mean absolutely nothing if you return to your countries and fail to push beyond the promises of this historic agreement. After 21 years of debates and conferences, it is time to declare no more talk, no more excuses, no more 10-year studies, no more allowing the fossil fuel companies to manipulate and dictate the science and policies that affect our future. The world is now watching. You will either be lauded by future generations or vilified by them. You are the last best hope of Earth. We ask you to protect it. Are we and all living things we cherish our history? <laughs>